so if marriage is cultural and circumstances as it is with human institutions became so tough that a husband and wife who is a pastor couldn't live together maybe due to domestic abuse emotional psychological abuse or something and they decided to divorce and the families came together and returned the dowry and everything that marriage never existed hi my name is gold welcome to future's portal your unlimited access to supernatural and transformational content we share messages on salvation redemption solution and deliverance please hit the subscribe button like and share this video god bless next question about divorce should a person marry again yet he or she has already divorced well what is marriage marriage is cultural marriage is cultural there's no christian marriage marriage is cultural because if you say there's christian marriage what about unbelievers marriage is it not marriage it's marriage evil people's marriage is it not marriage it's marriage so marriage is marriage because marriage is cultural that's why you don't just carry a woman on the road and say let's go no you have to go and see her father and her father will have to consult his family then they will decide what to require from you they will give you a list then you will now supply everything they demand then they will set a day to hand the lady over to you and there are cultures where it is the lady that will supply and then they will decide the day to hand over the man to the lady <laughs> different cultures am i communicating in nigeria there are some tribes where you marry you, you, you visit the family three times before you marry. The first one, they call it knocking the door. You don't come empty. You come with responsibility. Then you now come the second time where they now give you a list. Then you now come the third time to supply what they gave you before they now hand over the lady to you. Now, once that lady is handed over to you by her parents, you are married. Whether you come to church or not because marriage is cultural so there's no christian marriage but there are christians in marriage so what the bible teaches us is how to live as christians in marriage is it clear so if marriage is cultural and circumstances as it is with human institutions became so tough that a husband and wife who is a pastor couldn't live together maybe due to domestic abuse emotional psychological abuse or something and they decided to divorce and the families came together and returned the dowry and everything that marriage never existed that marriage never existed because the law of that marriage has been dissolved so that man is free to marry and that lady is free to marry see it's the way marriage has been taught in the body of christ that is causing all the problem they didn't teach it well doctrinally they taught it with sentiments human sentiments not pure doctrine and what i'm giving you here is sound doctrine i can take you from scripture to scripture and explain that to you as long as a woman is bound by the law of her husband she is loyal to that husband but when the law is dissolved that woman is free that's what the bible teaches and the man is also free now the man is free to get remarried or the woman is free to get remarried let me ask all of you a question let's just think as human beings just a simple moral question so which will you prefer the pastor is divorced the marriage is dissolved him pick another woman and marry or sleep around with 50 60 sisters which do you prefer exactly exactly because a man is still a man his blood is still hot he has not died I'm teaching good so instead of sleeping around pregnant four or five sisters at the same time just pick one woman marry and be controlled and serve the purpose of God have I answered your question next question 